So I've previously made an adder and uh, that project spun completely out of control and uh, turned into this what you see here a 16-bit Minecraft computer which is very small and very compact alright let's take a little tour through this this is the uh, ROM it holds 256 bytes of program memory 128 locations of 16 bits these are color coded based on their instructions it's easier to uh, enter them um, that over here is the RAM the RAM is 32 bytes and that's 16 locations of 16 bits alright and this whole under here is the CPU and this part's the ALU so this part here does bit shifting right and left um, this is the adder some logic here some mux here are some transforms on the input so you can do uh, subtraction and things like this uh, these here are the registers this is the B register and this here is the A register um, these are the buses for the instructions the instructions get rooted into the, uh, into the ALU into different parts of the CPU this here is the program counter uh, it's instant um, so the program counter either uh, increments the ROM goes to the next instruction or can jump based on the address coming here from the uh, A register A register is also used to select the RAM address so what you see here are the decoders quick piston based decoders um, this is the um, little decoder for the ALU so it could fit a few more functions in like the bit shifting and XOR which the hack platform usually doesn't have alright this part's the clock it's running on a uh, 30 to 45 clock um, quicker instructions uh, when it's an A instruction which contains just data can be done uh, about one and a half seconds quicker so it's a variable speed clock of three and four and a half seconds Right, and here we have, a, this is the logic for writing to the to memory to register B, A and memory pistons will let the right ones through this pink part here is the jump logic jump logic is controlled by uh, three control bits it's controlled by the last ALU output the zero of the ALU output and with that we can do all the jump logic and the, the jump logic here controls the program counter all right, well let's see this in action. Uh, I'm not going to go through the whole calculation. I'll see, show you the results right now. Uh, the, oh yeah, these are the user inputs. User inputs just use an, an address in the RAM. So the RAM can uh, interact with anything by, uh, by using addressing and input outputs. All right, so let's see some parts in action. Here, are the, this is the calculation and its results. Um, I would have showed it during this video, but fraps and the computer running slows things down a little too much. And that's the correct result. Alright, so let's see some of these parts in action. There we go, the program counter. Start counting up. Uh, every time you hear the beat, that's a, that's a clock. This is the variable speed clock. This piston works as a mux and uh, decides whether to do a longer or a shorter instruction. That's the program counter here. Uh, here you see the decoding for the um, for the RAM addresses. It's done with pistons. Same for the RAM. Um, these are the for the writing logic. You can see that in action. It's not writing to the red one, register B. Writing to register B again. And now we're writing to memory. And now we're writing to register A, which is forced by it being an A instruction. Alrighty. Oh. So that's it. It's small, it's fast, uh, it's got a lot of features, and it's been a hell of fun to make it. 
and uh, I'll, I'll, if people like, I'll, I'll make some more videos explaining some of the individual components. Um, I'll put up a world scif. I also um, suggest you look at the uh, the forum thread for this, which I'll link, which has a lot of uh, of my uh, my process during the way, and it's uh, interesting pictures and discussions. So I uh, thank you very much for 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 listening. I'm, I'm glad. Uh, I was able to build this. It was a lot of fun to learn about CPU design and all this. And it's given me a lot of ideas for, for more projects. So uh, next thing, I'll, I'll do it. Uh, I'll program it to do some more interesting things. I have lots of program memory. I'm not using most of it right now. I have lots more RAM that I'm not using. So who knows what I'll be able to do with this. If you have some cool ideas of uh, what I could program, let me know. Anyway, thanks a lot.